Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. This is Ninjin and today we're going to be watching a replay of a weekly game. As you can see, we have the good dog here. Let's see how it goes. So I was kind of trolling in the start here by doing the two rats and the pigeon because with this start, you're pretty much ensured that you're going to lose the first turn. So yeah. But with doing this, I think you can plan for the scaling of your next pets if you sell the rats, of course. So this time, I was going for the gecko. Round 2 will be losing as well since I haven't sold the rats yet. And yeah, that's kind of a throw but it's all in preparation for my scaling. So this time I think I'll be going for the cat and I think next turn I'm going to be selling the rats here. Now we're going to be starting to win since we have the garlic in the early game due to the lemur. And now I'll be leveling, leveling up the rat and I'm going to be using the weasel here I think. Just for the money making capabilities as well. Pretty good, pretty good. And we haven't sold the rat yet and we start winning. So now we're leveling up the lemur here for the double garlic. I think I made a mistake there. I should have fed the lemur instead of the cat but yeah I think it's fine still gonna get us the win the only mistake here is that the weasel didn't faint so I don't know why I froze the starfish here I was trolling I didn't know why I froze this fairy as well I wouldn't be using it Guess I'm gonna be fo focusing on the money making capabilities of the weasel and the manta. Okay, we lost the round. That is fine though. We're gonna be scaling up with all of our money here. I think that the pie is pretty good. It gives a lot of stats with just the 3 gold cost. As you can see here, with the pie, pretty much swept the whole team, but we're gonna be drawing. So now the priority in this turn is just to level up the Manta and the Weasel, so that they can maximize their full potential in gaining money for us. Yes, yeah, money is a very valuable commodity in Super Auto Pets. Let's you buy all the upgrades that you need quicker. I don't know why, but Blobfish is my favorite pet. Just because of the good stats that it gives and the levels as well. The only bad thing is you need the pill to use it though. Or the mantis, or some other pets that makes your units faint. We're gonna be continuing, continuing the win streak here. And now we just max out our team. Try to boost the stats of the weasel as much as possible here. So just a heads up, I didn't didn't know what the effects of that adventuring beast here so I think I'm gonna make a mistake okay still going for the winning streak here now I activated the holy grail and this is the mistake I overwritten it with the Pandora's box which is so bad 
I think we're gonna lose because of this, so... But good thing, uh, we upgraded the two mantas here so we can bounce back with all the money that we have. Pretty much deleted ourselves with that, the old one play. But as you can see, we have a lot of money to compensate with a mistake. So I think we're gonna be fine. And we're gonna be going for the dragon here for the scaling. To be honest, I should have gone with the, whatchamacallit, the bird of paradise. But I think it's more fun to play with the dragon here. Okay, I think this will be the last loss that we're gonna have for this run. I was kinda nervous that I will not make it to the Holy Grail, but yeah, let's see how I do it. So this is the most fun part for me when playing with the dragon is yeah, buying and selling all the stuff, managing the rolls, and yeah, ensuring that I have the most value out of my money. This is pretty close. But we still get the win. Okay, now we convert the bad dog into the good dog. Which is amazing. Also, I didn't need to buy this, uh, I didn't need to buy this air palm tree because I forgot that I have a good dog which gives useful perks. So this d didn't even matter because I think it will be overwritten by the good dog anyway. So yeah, I should have just got the TV or something instead of this air palm tree. But yeah, we're still continuing to go for the upgrades here. With the dragon. So that's gonna be good. Now our weasel, as you can see, the <laughs> coconut is overwritten, but I think we're still good. Yep. Now we continue upgrading our units here with the dragon. The only bad thing about the dragon is it doesn't upgrade itself, so yeah, you need to buy specific foods for it in order to upgrade it. That's what I'm gonna be doing for the next turns here, I believe. Yeah, pretty much everybody's maxed out here. I'm just looking for more stat upgrades so that everybody is maxed out and yeah, give the bit of bread since the good dog doesn't give itself useful perks. I thought we we're gonna lose this one, but the Dorian flashed it out for us by reducing the HP of this behemoth here and yeah, we have the win. Now I think in this turn I was just uh, looking for upgrades, see if I can 3 star the good dog here for the achievement since I think this will be the last round. I just froze in the one star here in case we lose, but yeah, this is this is really scary. This is a gigantic uh gigantic behemoth, but as you can see in the beginning, the stinky sock actually clutched the game for us by reducing their HP so much with the Puma Puma's effect as well. So pretty much one sh two shot the giant behemoth and yeah. I think the really clutch thing here is the stinky sock, actually. So yeah, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!